Hello and welcome back to everyone that's tuned into our channel. Here we are, American Ultra Screw. I'm joined today by Brayden, Flamengo, only Berta brothers. I'm not sure about that. Shrey, and an average CONCACAF ref. We've got a blind guy here. Arjun, you're repping the CONCACAF refs. Really good representation on for but let's get to the point, guys. Really exciting video today. There's a lot of speculation around this. Uh, reports saying it's true or not. I'm not so sure about the veracity of them, but Conga Gaff teams to join uh, Common Ball and the Libertadores. I know that financially it would be a huge appeal to Common Ball. Uh, I'm not sure about the logistics. A lot of implications about this. We can get into it later on in the video, but let's get to the most exciting part, the fantasizing part. Guys, how do you think that CONCACAF teams would do? Brayden, you have strong opinions on this that may go against what the majority of people think, but do you think it would be a positive and how do you think they would fare? Well, the opinion that I have that I think is, is going to be pretty common, at least for sensible fans, is that MLS teams and Liga Mekis teams would get absolutely destroyed. I, I don't think we're at the level to be honest which which is fine honestly i think it would be great for exposure and experience playing against some better opposition but i think we'd be outclassed especially in away games away games we'd have no chance just i mean you see how strong the fans in south america are probably the best in the world honestly and i don't think that most mls teams league mx teams maybe would but i don't think most mls teams would bring away fans to be honest, to South America, it's just, it's a far distance and a lot of teams don't bring away fans to games in MLS. So going even farther down to South America, crossing several borders, I just don't see it as likely. And I, I think we'd get kind of embarrassed on that front. We'd probably become a laughing stock just because of how little support. I mean, honestly, even at home games, we'd probably get outnumbered if we didn't set ticket limits so that that would be my concern but yeah like i said it would be great for the teams great for experience it, it'd definitely be a higher level than any of these teams are playing it right now okay that's a nice way to start i think that i'm just going to say one thing you mentioned that most clubs don't bring uh, away fans you know even in mls but uh, the problem with the Mercosur travel agreement that South America has is it limits a lot of people from traveling because of the taxation and flights are so expensive. Like even the last year's final, uh, Flamengo against Atlético Paranaense, it was hard for the clubs that were in the final for the fans to attend it. So I think it, it would definitely be a shock and I, don't, I agree with you. I don't think MLS clubs and Liga MX clubs would do well uh, going farther in the competition, but I think they wouldn't get grouped. That, this is maybe a hot take, but I, I would back MLS clubs to not get grouped. Uh, and the, the fans come into it because, you know, the, it's not like the clubs are used to playing uh, against clubs that bring a lot of fans, unless it's a Brazilian club like Corinthians, Flamengo, Palmeiras, the huge ones, uh, or an Argentinian club. Because if not, they, they usually play with a pretty empty uh, away section, at least in the early stages. Shrey, what do you think? How do you think that MLS clubs would fare in the competition? And how how much of a positive do you think it would be to have that? Yeah, so I don't know if they'd get destroyed. I don't think they'd get that far. I don't know if they'll get destroyed per se, but I do think it is a positive for MLS teams because, you know, MLS can just get better by playing against higher level competition. And I think it's just going to be really cool to see MLS teams playing in the Libertadores. Like, it's not just a soccer thing, it's a life thing. Like, when you just challenge yourself, you're obviously going to get better. And I think that's something that a lot of MLS teams can do. And I totally agree with Parade. I can't see, like, any MLS fans traveling all the way down to South America for the Libertadores. So I think that actually is a really big issue. The one down main downside of this, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, you see, even in Conca Champions, they don't really travel away. It would be so hard to do it in Libertadores. But I will say this, knowing Common Ball, if, we, if the MLS clubs were to join Libertadores, the final would be in the US. It's guaranteed. Yeah. Money, dollars, it would be in the US. So maybe, but I don't think any MLS club could realistically get to the final. I think that's impossible. Arjun, you're a fan and you're repping an MLS club. How do you think the crew would do in Libertadores? 
and how do you see it as uh, you know if it was to be implemented for all of the other MLS clubs? Do you agree with us? Do you think that it would be, they would find it tough? Yeah, uh, crew would get similar to like all MLS clubs. We would not even get close to winning it. Um, I'm watching a crew right now. We're playing Portland. We're down 2-0. Uh, crew aren't. I mean, we're we're a decent team attacking, but you know. I watch MLS every single time, every single game week, every match day. I watch MLS. I watch multiple games. MLS teams are quality-wise on a level behind, on a level below uh, South American teams, and definitely intensity-wise. Intensity-wise, South American teams demolish MLS teams. And if we go, to, if you go to like the Bombonera, one one of those places, like MLS clubs, uh, they aren't going to fare well there. You know. 100% support for you know uh, Boca uh, against uh, an MLS team that is isn't used to that atmosphere. Um, yeah, so all all factors point towards MLS clubs getting absolutely wiped in Libertadores. But I mean, maybe like LAFC or like uh, Cincy, like Cincy this year at least. Uh, one of those clubs, some big clubs in the in the league maybe one of them could pull a pull a rare surprise off but i mean it's unlikely you know it's just i don't think it's gonna happen all right that's fair uh next we can go to how far do you think they they would go i mean uh, i like i said i don't think even the crew i don't think they've got grouped i really don't think so i, I feel like the level of play is high i mean the intensity is really high but the level of play technically i don't think it's too high uh, I mean, you see tactics from most managers is try to get a goal and defend, defend, defend for a lot of clubs. And it's very rare that clubs with some investment and, you know, with a good organization from their managers, it's really rare that they get grouped. I mean, you see from Brazilian clubs, they rarely get grouped. I even wrote it down. I mean, 2020, Sao Paulo were the only ones to get grouped and they had a horrible Brazilian on that season because the 2019 Sao Paulo that got them to the Libertadores was dismantled. So that's why. 21 Santos, but Santos was like an elephant on a tree. Uh, these days, they never get far. I mean, they're Pelé and Neymar uh, Whittles. That's it. They never do anything. And even last year, Fortaleza, which is a club with, that has Bojboda as the manager, really organized club, but no flashy players at all. I mean, their best player was Wellington Paulista, 38-year-old. They didn't get grouped. It was America Mineiro only, but that club's a joke. They put 3,000 people for... Uh, Libertadores match that's embarrassing but I, I think that based on that on the structure that MLS clubs have uh, which is better than the infrastructure is better than most common ball clubs and just the the level of play that they show I don't think they'll get grouped Braden do you think that and if you could wait uh, sorry push, sorry can I just say ahead. one thing before Braden goes really quick just yeah. to clarify yeah so just want to clarify this my bad Braden but I uh, just want to say um, when I said MLS clubs would get like wiped I did mean, you know, in the later ends of the competition. But at the same time, you think about what happened in the CONCACAF Champions League with Austin getting destroyed by um, Violet. Uh, even though Austin played MLS veterans like Nick Lima, and Nick Lima has played hundred like 100-plus games in MLS. And he's a decent – he played for U.S., you know. He's not a bad right back. They played like players like him. They just got wiped by Violet AC, the first leg. The second leg, um, it looked better, but yeah. So I do think this potential gang group. So yeah, Braden, my bad, bro. Yeah, I was just gonna ask Braden if you had to pick clubs to go far in the competition, which ones do you think right now would be able to do it, and how far would they get? Yeah, so I do think some MLS teams could make it out of the group, but it really depends on the draw. Just looking at the the groups from this year. And like you said, just to add on real quickly about your point about Brazilian teams, only one of them got grouped this year is Corinthians, who are having a really down year by their standards. I think they're bottom half in Bra Brasileiro. But yeah, I mean, some of these groups, I can say like Group A with Racing Club and Flamengo, MLS teams aren't getting out of that group. But then if you move down to like Group H with Olympia and Atletico Nacional made it, getting it out. I think MLS teams, certain ones, could definitely make it out in that group. So it really just depends on the draw. And as for some teams that I think could go far, I mean, obviously, I'm going to say the Union have been one of the best teams in MLS for a while. We constantly produce young talent. And yeah, I think, I think, I don't think we could go far per se, but I think we could at least make it out of the group depending on the draw. 
LAFC as well, Cincinnati. To be honest, I don't think there's many others. I, I just don't really trust the quality of MLS right now. I think I'd have to see these teams in action in South America playing away. But yeah, I, th I think there is definitely a chance for some teams. And how far do you think any of those clubs could get a quarterfinal, perhaps? Quarterfinal, absolute max. And like I said, it all depends on the draw. If they get drawn against some giants, I don't think any of these teams would top the group, regardless of the draw. So they'd be playing one of the best teams in South America in the round of 16. And I, I, I don't know. I just don't see them getting too far. Quarterfinals, absolute maximum for now. Yeah, I agree. I think if they play any Brazilian clubs, as much as I like to hate them, Brazil, they would lose, honestly. Regardless I mean, of the they I'd, I'd honestly say any Brazilian, Argentinian, and even some Uruguayan, um, some Chilean. Mm -hmm. No, because look at, I mean, look at the CONCACAF Champions League this year. Like, that's like a microcosm of what could happen in the South American division. You know? It's an international competition in North America, and um, MLS, uh, one, one club got to the final and they lost to Leon. And Leon isn't a Mexican superpower. Leon is a mid-table mid club in Liga Mekki. So, I mean, it's it's not looking good for MLS. And the history of MLS clubs in CONCACAF Champions League doesn't really give me that much hope that they would do much in Libertadores either. And if they're losing to clubs like um, mid-table and Me clubs, uh, Honduran clubs, El Salvadorian clubs, I don't back them to beat Uruguayan clubs and Chilean clubs. And that's just me. I think that apart from Colo Colo, maybe MLS clubs would be just behind Brazilian and Argentinian clubs because those clubs are just, even Peñarol, a really rich history club, they don't do well. Nacional gets to this round of 16 and then dips out every year. So, but that's fair. That's fair. I mean, it would all come down to how they prepare because I guarantee that just like you know, they would give more importance to the competition and play field way better players and try to do the best, even tactically have to adapt to the Libertadores. Uh, same goes for the other clubs. So that's why even though I think the Union and LAFC are better than Fortaleza, for example, I'll still back Fortaleza to beat them if they were to meet in the Libertadores. But Shrey, what do you think? Do you think that they, the MLS clubs could get far? How far would they get? I'd say probably around the 16 is probably where most MLS teams would head out if they make it out of the group, that is. Maybe St. Louis, Cincy, or LAFC. I can't really see any other teams going that far or even making it out of the group. So I'll just say um, LAFC could maybe make it to the like round of 16. St. Louis, oh wow. I mean, I'm not so sure about them, but... Uh, maybe, okay. maybe, maybe. I mean, they are first. Yeah, they, yeah, they're, they're having a good season. They're having a good yeah. season. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll need a bigger sample of what they can do. See if that's true. They're not, but that that's a fair take. And Argent, do you now you kind of had your say about this? I'll go to, to the final topic of this. Do you think it's realistic? Do you think it's going to happen? I'm just gonna get my opinion. They would have to come up with some sort of uh, half and half competition where the clubs meet at a round of 32, for example, because logistically, Sebek doesn't have enough, Comebol doesn't have enough to finance travels all the way to North America. I mean, that's a fact. I don't think that the, mon the money is there only if CONCACAF sponsors the competition, basically, because if not, most federations, as we've said, that's why they're dying for a Copa America with the CONCACAF clubs. They don't, CONCACAF nations, because they don't have the resources in Copa Ball to actually back this up. And logistically, can you imagine a club, Internacional or Gremio, playing from Porto Alegre all the way to St. Louis or New York City FC? I mean, it's a huge travel. You're going to have travel for an entire day. How's that even going to happen mid-season where you're going to have a, 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 you know, a game three days later? And the way that Coma Ball works is, if, you know, you lose three games in a row, your coach is fired, basically. So that's why I don't think it's going to happen. But Arjun, do you think it could happen? And would you like to see it happen, ultimately? Your personal opinion, obviously. Uh, no, I don't think it's going to happen. It's uh, For all the reasons you mentioned, it's unrealistic. Um, is Seattle away day to um, Montevideo or um, Buenos Aires would be uh, would be hell. Um, I would not want to be a player sitting in a plane for uh, for twelve straight hours getting off. And yeah, I, I, I'm not doing that. So I don't think it's gonna happen. It's unrealistic. Um, yeah, you hit all the points. So 
Would you like to see it happen though? Uh, oh yeah. To, uh, would you like to have the opportunity to play those giants from South America. I mean, yeah, obviously in theory, I mean, a lot of things, like, you know, I want to have a lot of things uh, improved about MLS and happen to MLS, but again, it's just unrealistic, you know, the way that league set up now, the way uh, uh, South America um, football is right now, it just, there's no feasible way to get these two te- um, these two leagues or these two continents in, a, in one massive tournament because, you know, that, that's like half the entire world right there. Not South and North America all the way down to Argentina. That's a big distance. And, you know, the, the whole thing about money and the fans and travel and all that, just uh, I would like it to happen, but it's not going to happen. Yeah, it's certainly a Vancouver versus Nacional de Montevideo game would be catastrophic for fans and, cl- and players alike. Brayden, how do you see it? Do you think it's realistic? It's ever going to happen? I think ever, I mean, it may happen someday, but do you think it's close to that day? And Would you like to see it happening as a Philadelphia Union fan? For On an emotional level, I would absolutely love to see this happen. I think it would be amazing for MLS fans and Liga MX fans to see their teams playing in Libertadores against the Giants of South America. I mean, most Liga MX fans have already seen it happen. They were actually in Libertadores up until 2016 when they got removed due to scheduling conflicts. And I think that is one of the main reasons that it might not happen. Just logistically, it's it's just not going to work. With all the things you said about the finances, the hosting, I know that Combo Bowl has had major issues with hosting the final of Libertadores and the, uh, Copa Americas in the past, which is why they eventually had to turn to the U.S. in 2024, which obviously is great for Americans, but for South Americans, it's it's not. And for, for their fans, I think this would be horrible, to be honest. As selfishly, I'd love to see it happen. I'd love to go to some games in the U.S., watch some of the biggest South American giants play against our local teams, but I don't I don't think it's going to happen. And I will say, I think if it does happen, I think it will happen eventually. But I think what's going to end up happening is they'll try it, and then in a couple of years, they'll go back to the way it was, because logistically, it's just not going to work. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it, you mentioned uh, the logistics. I just remembered now when Atlético Mineiro won the Libertadores, I think it was 2016. Uh, no, 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 2013. Uh, they played Tijuana. We know that's basically San Diego. And they almost got knocked out. And they had a documentary about that. That's their only Libertadores and it ever will be, in my opinion. But all of the players said that that was the toughest game just because of the travel and Tijuana wasn't even a good club that year they didn't win Liga MX or got close to it but they said just the travel and Belo Horizonte is in the middle of Brazil so it's not even you know the worst possible scenario they almost got knocked out and all the players including Ronaldinho, Bernard, Joe, the main guys that year they said the travel was atrocious and that's why they performed so poorly when they played in the first leg but Shrey, uh, back to you. Do you think that it will happen logistically? Do you think it is possible? And would you like to see it? All right, yeah, so um, you guys summed it up perfectly. I don't see it ever happening. It's just too unrealistic. Maybe 25, 20, 25 years down the line, it could happen. But um, yeah, you guys summed it up perfectly. I just don't think it could happen right now. But I would love to see some games. It'd be awesome. But yeah, I just can't see it happening right now. Yeah, I just forgot to mention, I don't know how I forgot to mention this because I had it written down, but on Brazilian TV, they were reporting it as it's done. It's done. It's going to happen. But mostly just to get viewers because of Messi playing for Inter Miami. They don't even know that Inter Miami are terrible here in Brazil. They just assume that Inter Miami, oh, they're winning MLS. They don't know how the league works or anything. And the source, we might as well explain why we're making this video. There was a journalist in Argentina that said it was a done deal. That's how this entire thing started. It was one dude, one dude, doesn't even work for a newspaper, reported it as, hey, it's done. They got they got the talks done, it's signed, Comet Ball, CONCACAF, they merged. Libertadores is happening, it's not happening. I saw a dude from AFA, from uh, Asociación uh, Futbolística de Argentina, the Argentine FA, he explained that the thing that they were thinking about was since, you know, they need money in common ball, you know, obviously MLS clubs are, are rich just because the dollar even goes far, super far. They were thinking about organizing a, you know, a competition 
apart from Libertadores, unifying them, but it would be kind of preseason. It's not really going to happen. I agree with Braden. If it was to happen, it would happen in a few years if Comebol needed money like desperately, but it would be given up eventually because they would see it's way better on uh, fantasizing about it than in practice. But any final considerations you guys would like to add about this? I'm just going to yes. add Paraná, my club. One day played Libertadores. We got that was the best memory in my life as a fan, and we That's beat Flamengo too, so that was nice. Most and score, it, score was two one, but we got destroyed in the game in Maracanã. But we still didn't get grouped. We were in the same group. We both got through, and yeah, sadly, and Paraná had to go through the pre Libertadores. Let me just say that I don't think some MLS clubs would actually get to Libertadores because the pre Libertadores games are tough. You're playing clubs with the high altitude in Bolivia where you can't even breathe when you're running. So, but yeah, I went to the away games. It was amazing. Uh, I wish my club was good again. But, anyways, any other considerations? Arjun had something to say? Yeah, so it's a bit of a fun fact here. Um, a flight from Vancouver to Montevideo is the same distance uh, as going from London to Cape Cod. Uh, not Cape Cod, Cape Town, South Africa. That's great to put into perspective how yeah. insane Imagine it is. Yeah. London, all the way down the whole of Africa to Cape Town and all the way back up just for one game. And then, like, imagine you pull up, you just get absolutely destroyed. And you just sit for a 19 hour flight all the way back to Vancouver. <laughs> I mean, that point you just brought helps your point that we wouldn't be able to beat your, your grind teams. Because I think on paper we could, but if you take into account that travel and their experience in this competition, yeah, it, would, it wouldn't be easy at all. Yeah. I think and we lost London the Cape Cod would not be yeah. that bad. Yeah, that's insane. Nobody would ever <laughs> think about making that game a club from Cape Cape Town against uh, Arsenal or Chelsea. So, yeah, it uh, is. Yeah. Just, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. And some Brazilians even say, what if we just meet halfway and have the games in Manaus, <laughs> Amazonas. I mean, that that's insane. They, you just lose the home factor and clubs wouldn't like that. Wait, bro, 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 bro. I was slightly off. It, it, it's actually, um, it's Cape Town to like Norway. It's not London, it's like Norway. Mm. So it's, that it makes more sense. But it's a bit farther, it's a bit farther. It's not London, yeah. it's a bit farther. It's got a couple hundred miles more. Yeah, they lied to us on the maps. Everything is a lie. <laughs> yeah, dude. But like, imagine like going from Malmo, Sweden, or like Stockholm, um, all the way down to Cape Town for a game. You know, that's just that's just crazy. <laughs> yeah, it is. Anyone wants to add anything else? I mean, that was a good point that Arjun made. I didn't even know into perspective how far it is, Brayden. Yeah. Um, just real quick, one thing I forgot to mention about the competition level. I think, like we all said. I don't think MLS teams would get far, but I would be really interested to see them play in the Europa League, if you will, of South America, Copa Sudamericana. Mm -hmm. I think the MLS teams would actually have a pretty good chance in that competition to go far and potentially even win it, depending on the team. So, yeah, that's all, all I have yeah. wanted to say. I mean, even Atletico Paranaense won that twice, so anyone can win it. I'm just kidding. For anyone that gets that, that's Paraná's biggest rival club that has Vitor Hockey and a lot of people know about. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. Stay on with us. I mean, I'm sorry if we broke down the fantasy about MLS clubs playing Libertadores, but we try to bring the most valuable points. Thank you, Braden. Thank you, Shrey. Thank you, Arjun, for being a part of this. And thank you to all the, the subscribers for watching us. Please leave a comment with some suggestions. We saw suggestions you guys have given us recently. So we will make that video about clubs that would get promoted from USL. That's an exciting one that's coming out. And stay tuned for another transfer update that we're going to make this, this week. We know you guys enjoy those. So we appreciate it. Thank you. Please leave a like and subscribe. And let us know anything else you guys want to mention about Libertadores. We'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.